Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be doing uh, Windows on ARM malware. Now to be clear, we're not talking about malware that only runs on ARM. We're simply testing uh, from a mix of some results from my YouTube scraper and the triage submissions. We're going to try out some common malware samples to see if they work on ARM. Now, first of all, let's try out PA Fish. Now, my main thinking is because the emulator for Windows on ARM is actually pretty good. So it's not going to be a case of it just failing. It's more likely that some of the anti-VM checks are going to trigger. Now, of course, I am using a VM, but it doesn't even... It's weird, because PA Fish actually went the opposite way. It seems to fail to detect some of this. Because we've got an authentic AMD for whatever reason. I don't know if that's to do with the emulator lawsuit that Intel filed. Then we've got virtual CPU at 1 gigahertz. No. Uh, is debugging... Well, we're not debugging... So we fail the RDTSC exit, and I assume this will happen regardless because there is no x86 CPU. Uh, and then we can see our mouse speed, uh, click activity. Th this is just, uh, th these are just interactive tests, so they don't really matter. Okay, CPU ID. But surely we have the wrong CPU ID because we don't even have one. But okay, so surprisingly, uh, this is coming out pretty good. So uh, let's actually try some malware now the first thing we're going to try is one from my scraper with the youtube handle download links it is incredible to me a that this handle was even available and b that it hasn't yet been shut down uh, this is a beautiful uh handle for a scam so a shout out to whichever hacker managed to snag that handle for this use okay we've got univ menu i didn't even look at what this was supposed to be and it's going to have a password of one two three four and we get a nice, legit-looking load quack 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 dot exe. My notepad is broken. Oh, oh. Okay, first piece ran, and then we got an error. Okay. So the VC runtime uh, seems to be the issue. Now we get two dot exe. Uh, th this is a relatively transparent malware. So. I'm going to judge that as a pass because if, oh, and now there's a 3.exe. Okay. I'm just going to copy these somewhere safe because they're probably interesting. I don't really have all my analysis tools on this VM. Uh, okay, but they actually look like that's probably the same file or they've just got different uh, junk padding. Okay, and 3 has finished. So, I'm going to say that that, which is almost certainly some sort of stealer, gets a... Okay, so now let's try our second bundle of joy. Uh, this is the... Uh, these are just five or four samples, I guess. I thought they were five uh, that I downloaded from Triage that are all different. Now, I believe this one is ransomware. These actually might be the same file. Uh, let's try the PDF first. Okay, so the PDF hasn't done anything obvious yet. But that definitely doesn't mean it didn't work. Uh, no, it's... Oh, it's running. Oh, it's using CPU. Oh, oh. I think this might be ransomware. One of the red flags for ransomware, of course, is that if it's going to encrypt all of your files, uh, it's going to do so. Now, hopefully it won't encrypt the other sample, but I don't really... I can just download it again. And it is definitely working. Now, I don't know what killing it's going to do. And I actually don't think I have anything that it could ransom. But okay. So that was ransomware. And it worked. So let's try... Okay. This one's even got a console. And this one is also ransomware. Looking at what it's doing. Uh, 50 megabytes a second. Oh, wow. Okay, this thing, this one is, is serious about the ransomware. And I assume when it has finished, which... Oh, it's already dropping CPU usage. Okay. So, that worked. So, this video is actually going about the opposite of how I thought it was going to go. I, I thought that a bunch of malware was going to refuse to run. But, oh, okay, maybe actually then... Using ARM is actually great for malware analysis because I did absolutely nothing to hide this VM and not one of the samples have complained. Open this absolute horde of files. Oh, wow. 
I think I think one of these was also tagged as being an XM rig, and it's into it's into System Thirty Two. Th this has gone everywhere. Okay, let's see how it likes uh, being ended. Now let's try the skull. Okay, and he's working and he's doing a lot on the. I guess I guess that's the difference between downloading stuff from random websites and downloading from triage is you pretty much you get miners and ransomware on triage. Uh, whereas on websites, you mostly get stealers because ransomware is much better against companies who will actually pay. You know, like a random victim's not going to pay more than like a hundred bucks. Oh, wait. Okay. Because I, I, I saw just randomly on Shodan this Windows dash instead of desktop dash. So I don't know what triggers it because I've, I've always seen random Windows machines getting Windows instead of desktop. But okay. So that's, that's a thing. And this one is just kind of, is it still going? Yep. Uh, but it's not using much in the way of resources. Let's see. We can also, we can, well, we can see if any of these have blocked virus total. Nope, it still works. We can also find out what these do that way. Zombie. Uh, ooh. Encoder. So some sort of botnet. Okay, and this one was in fact a miner. So then this is probably the ransomware. They bought. Oh no, this is Eep. Okay, no, this is actually uh, Zbot. Oh wow, yeah, no, we do don't want that. Okay. But every single one of the samples we tried worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Enderman's Malwatch, which is another YouTuber that uh, does malware analysis, and he's made a site. Uh, that contains uh, a bunch of uh, malware. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like uh, looks like uh, one of these infections has escalated. Let's see what happens if we kill the uh, skull and crossbones. Oh, okay. I can't read marijuana the text, but it's actually an application. Okay, this is actually a legit... Uh, this is a virus, then. This is not just... What I mean by that, because, of course, virus is nowadays a euphemism or a stand-in for malware, but a virus technically means a, a program that actually infects files. So the skull is a form of virus. Okay, marijuana.txt, which is actually a .exe. So why is Microsoft Edge running out of program files x86? It's so weird. All the different error messages. But these are seemingly then different. Okay, so it's essentially replaced every file on the system with itself. I didn't even know you could do that on modern Windows without... Uh, I guess because we disabled Defender, but that's still... Okay, it, can't, it hasn't gotten the system files, but it's gotten essentially everything else. And it hasn't touched uh, these. I, I paused for a second because when I saw Luminera Tech, I thought for a second to say Luma Stealer. That'd be an interesting uh, admission. So now let's just try rebooting the system again and see what happens. The other thing we can do is try re-enabling Defender and see if that will get rid of any of this. But I think we've uh, destroyed the VM. Okay, it seems like the malware may have uh, gotten deeper. Okay, Windows Terminal still works. Okay, now we've got Defender going, so let's see if we can if we can salvage this mess. Okay, and wow, so a lot of stuff was fixed by the system file checker. Now I'm running Defender to try and... Yeah, wow, that got deep. And Defender uh, detected no threats. So either Defender uh, has been neutered by the virus or defender genuinely doesn't detect any of those it's like bro there's no malware here i don't know what you're talking about so we still can't run edge but windows doesn't seem to be totally broken oh actually let's just check there's no exclusions bingo and that is why uh that is why we have problem oh 
file type. Okay, this th that would do absolutely nothing then. So a really good way of figuring out where a virus has installed itself is if you have Windows Defender and you check your exclusions. Uh, chances are, wherever your exclusions are, there is probably malware. Okay, so that, that was just pointless. I got rid of all the exclusions, and the quick scan is still convinced that we don't have a single piece of malware on this computer. <laughs> So given we can't fix the VM without reinstalling it, I'm just going to upload these from the host to VirusTotal. And uh, VirusTotal actually doesn't find anything super interesting. Uh, it just is calling it Cosmo Rans... Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely... It, it's very persistent. It, it's possible that it's just kind of... It almost feels like it's just one of the classical, very destructive viruses. It's not... Like, it, it didn't give any obvious way to pay to remove it. Which is weird. Okay, and it doesn't have any packer being detected, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. And Binary Ninja Sidekick has immediately figured out that this is a malicious routine. I really like this. This is something they've come out with. It's sort of like, it's like GitHub Copilot, but for reverse engineering. Uh, so this code appears to be a malicious routine that searches for files on a system's logical drives, manipulates their extensions, copies and executes them, and possibly deletes the original files. It also performs file integrity checks and uh, displays a message box with concatenated strings related to the file information. Okay, let's see how this one... So file information, file information, uh, set value and return pointer... Okay, so that's just, I think, initializing. So then we check the... So we get the file name. And here's the other uh, piece of the payload. So we get the system... Get system directory A. Let's just... Okay. Get that. Get source file. So it sends this in here. And this is potentially a way of copying and executing files so that additional payloads uh, can be copied and executed without ever having without getting caught and here we have a final hiding technique it doesn't really matter but essentially it's just going to set the file to be hidden so that it's a bit trickier so that is going to be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it please leave a like uh, and subscribe if you did uh so it seems like basically the answer is yes any malware that will run on a regular uh, x86 system pretty much will probably run on an ARM system, so there is no added uh, security beyond whatever features you enable. It also means that ARM systems are perfectly usable for modern malware analysis, which is good if you're into that. So that's going to be all for now. Bye!